This video about xDNA inheritance and recombination is part of the Research Like a Pro with DNA question and answer series. The first step in the Research Like a Pro with DNA method is to take a DNA test. 23andMe shows DNA segment information and has tools to help you see the segments that you share with your DNA matches. Family Tree DNA also shows DNA segment information and has tools that, that help you, such as a chromosome browser. You can transfer your raw DNA data from 23andMe or Ancestry DNA or MyHeritage to, my, to Family Tree DNA and unlock their DNA comparison tools for $19. Step number eight in the Research Like a Pro with DNA method is to use DNA tools and methodology. This DNA tools bell curve that I developed shows a process of working with your DNA results. So we'll be working, talking about visualizing DNA segments and using chromosome browsers in this video. The question was asked, this is how my X chromosome compares with my brothers on 23andMe. Since we both got our X chromosomes from our mother, I would have expected that they would be fully identical. What happened? And the answer has to do with DNA recombination. So this man and his brother, they both received a Y chromosome from their father and an X chromosome from their mother. The X chromosome that they received from their mother was different in each of them. And that's because the mother's two exes um, that she received from her parents had been recombined. So you can see a large shared portion of the X chromosome in two different segments and the gray areas indicate that there was not sharing in those areas. XDNA has a unique inheritance pattern, and it's important to keep that in mind while you're analyzing XDNA. So remember that in women, one copy of the X chromosome is passed on from their fathers, and one copy of the X chromosome is passed on from their mothers. So with women, the X inheritance pattern goes starts with a woman in the center, and she receives an X from her father and an X from her mother. Now you can see that not every single, every single rectangle in here has an area for um, where DNA has been passed on. So if you can follow with an X chromosome, you can follow this chart and you can see exactly the, the ancestors from whom you may have inherited segments of an X chromosome from. If you're a male, you can use this chromosome you can use this family tree fan chart that shows the inheritance pattern for a male. So remember that the X chromosome, that there are not as many SNPs that are tested on the X chromosome as there are on the other autosomes, the chromosomes 1 through 22. So you need to consider segments that are 15 to 20 centimorgans or larger when you're working with xDNA. Here are some chromosome browsers showing the X chromosome from Family Tree DNA and 23andMe. This chromosome browser here shows five siblings. One sibling is kind of the background person in gray. And then there are two sisters and two brothers that took DNA tests. The two sisters share full X chromosomes with their sister. And then the two brothers had recombined, they, the two sisters received the X chromosomes from their fathers. And then the, the brothers had recombined X chromosomes from their mother. This lower X chromosome browser is from 23andMe and it shows three cousins that took DNA tests. So these cousins don't share a full X chromosome. You can see that um, the the tester is kind of shown here in gray. And then there was a paternal first cousin who took the test and that's shown here in this purpley color. 
raspberry purple color. And then a first paternal first cousin once removed shows here in orange. So the source of the X chromosome that was passed on was the paternal grandmother who received it, an X from her father and an X from her mother. So this X, these two X's from the paternal grandmother have the potential of being recombined and having different combinations that she passes on to each of her sons. These sons in turn pass the X that they received from their mother on to their children. So this daughter here received an X from her father that was the same, uh, exactly the same as what he received from his, his mother. And then this brother also received an X and passed it on to his daughters. And this daughter had two X's that recombined and then you can, and passed it on to her son. So you can see here that not all was shared, not that full amount was not shared with this, the purple color and the orange color. There was this little segment of DNA that had been recombined and was not shared with the DNA test taker um, with whom it's being compared completely. So the answer really is what, what happened here was recombination. The two brothers don't share their full X chromosome because there was a re some recombination that occurred. We hope that you'll continue to follow the Research Like a Pro with DNA question and answer series. Best wishes with your DNA analysis and using it to find your ancestors. <laughs>